Hello friends, I'm doing a Photoshop series and in this video I want to show you how you can use the clone stamp tool in order to clean up your artwork before turning it into a digital illustration. Once again, my name is Sarah Watts and if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe so I can keep growing this channel. All right, so I have this ridiculous but awesome cat drawing that I did in my sketchbook the other day and I've already brightened up the background a little bit in Photoshop. Now, right now you can kind of see that I'm moving the page around with this handy little hand, handy hand. Um, real quick, if you're not sure how to do that, all you have to do is grab the hand in the toolbar, but the best way to do it is to hold the keyboard and then it will automatically allow you to scroll throughout your artwork. Cool, huh? Okay, so let's get to it. The clone stamp is one of the best tools ever in Photoshop. I'm only showing you a tiny version of what this awesome thing can do. So I'm going to go back to the original artwork of this sketch to show you how I would use the clone stamp in order to clean up some of this artwork. So if you go over to your tools, the clone stamp is the one that literally looks like a little stamp tool. So grab that clone stamp tool. Okay. And what I want you to do is hold the option key on a Mac and click on an area that you want to use as the reference point to replace this little area of paper scratch that I got whenever I did the watercolor. Uh, sometimes you'll have these little blemishes in your artwork and all you have to do with a clone stamp is select the area that you wish that it would look like and then you'll go over to the area that's uh, got issues and you just kind of paint on top of it. Now you'll notice the crosshair on the left is showing us what it's picking up to replace the artwork with and then the brush in the uh, bottom right is, you know, where we're adding that, that texture in. Okay. And it will literally do anything that you select. So if I selected this line up here and I brought it over here, you can see a little preview of that. So you definitely want to make sure that you select a little area that is nice to, uh, cover up the spot you're trying to cover. Okay. So again, option click to, uh, you know, select the target area to replace the part that you want to fix and then you just click and cover it up okay now let me just show you that in other areas here I just cleaned up that little spot I can also target that white background and put it here okay I can go over here and I'm just hitting option clicking an area that I want to replace and then replacing it okay Here's another little spot that would be a good example. Option click here. And I'm going to slowly cover up that pencil line. Now let's cover up this little white spot. Select that yellow. All right. So once again, just to kind of run through it, you're going to hold option. Click on the area that you like and then cover up the area that you don't like. And this is a great tool to clean up your artwork so that you can make it look more finished in the final piece. All right, so I'm going to use the command plus tool to zoom in on this little area. And again, I'm going to grab this little area of the drawing and cover up this spot where the watercolor kind of bled into the line art. So option click to select the color to replace and now there's also the healing brush, the spot healing, and then content aware fill. These are all other great ways to clean up artwork in Photoshop. The clone stamp is so straightforward and super fun. Now a few things to note about the clone stamp. Anytime you have a tool on the left hand side that's selected in Photoshop, you'll want to make sure to go up here to this options bar. This is amazing because it basically says, hey, I noticed that you have this tool selected. Here are all the fun things that you can do with that tool. So when you have the clone stamp selected, you'll notice that there are a lot of different options to this. I go over all of these different options in my long format Photoshop course that's coming out in August. However, in the meantime, I'll just uh, make sure to show you where to find the brush change. So while you're up here in the options bar for the clone stamp tool, 
All you have to do is go to this little spot that has the brush on it, and then you can choose other brushes to use as your clone stamp tool. Now, one thing to note is you'll want to make sure that the tool that you use does not have a preset tool already. So you'll want to use one of the brushes that have nothing up in the top right hand corner of the brush. I'll also be making a video of how to turn any brush into an any brush <laughs> in next week's YouTube video. So hopefully that helps. Now you know how to use very, very basic uh, versions of the clone stamp tool. And you can use that to clean up your artwork before you turn it into a finished piece. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep cleaning and you can push uh, stop on this video whenever you want to. Make sure to subscribe and like my channel so that I can keep growing it and show you more art tricks in Photoshop as well as different drawing techniques. See you on the next video.